The uh, technical controls are, as one can expect, uh, the, the bulk of uh, the controls that we address, that we work with, that uh, we think about. Um, and so none of uh, the, what follows here, and probably the next four clips anyways, is, is going to be terribly surprising. But uh, just the, you know, examples here of, of what we do. Uh, now, but let's, you know, be clear, these, you know, not all of these are specific tools. Uh, to begin with, uh, you know, part of what we have to talk about in terms of technical controls, and particularly with regard to access to data, is the sensitivity of the data. You know, how, uh, how important is this, how much of an impact uh, does it have on us if it is disclosed, if it is um, lost, if it is corrupted? Um, you know, at the, so the sensitivity uh, in different ways, as as we discussed uh, when we were talking about information classification. So, you know, basically we are talking about information classification again at this point, um, and. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I need to go over that <clears throat> again. Um, we, you know, we went through that fairly thoroughly in terms of the classification. But, you know, it's the, it's the sensitivity of the data that, that goes into our uh, view of controls. And in addition, and related to the sensitivity of data, of course, is the clearance of the users. <clears throat> so, you know, uh, we want to have a match now. You know, is it going to be mandatory access control and uh, require that we have a match enforced by the system? Um, is it going to be uh, a more informal kind as it is with uh, discretionary access control? Uh, you know, what types of users can, can access who? You know, do we give... Uh, access to individuals do we give it to groups and and uh, you know have the data owner decide on it but you know the the clearance of the users um in association with the sensitivity of the data that's you know that all of this is part of our technical controls uh and particularly as i say with with regard to um access control um what about the architecture of the network. This has a bearing on our controls. Uh, what type of controls are needed? What type of controls are possible? Uh, you know, sometimes the architecture of the network, uh, you know, if it's a very isolated network, uh, that obviates the need for a, a number of different controls. And in uh, some other cases, the the architecture of the network will provide us uh, with certain types of tools that we can use in, in terms of technical controls for access to the data. Uh, so we have, to, we have to pay attention to that. Uh, we have to, in addition, look at the different levels of access control and, and you know, we're, we're going to talk about this, you know, our, our standard uh, list of, you know, do you have read access? Do you have write access? Do you have execute access uh, to a given entity? Um, so, you know, what, what type of, uh, of access is it? Um, and, and again, you know, tied to the sensitivity, tied to the clearance of the users. So, um, now, in addition, you know, think about the access, not just to the data, um, but uh, to the network itself, um, to the hardware uh, of our systems. Um, in, you know, in, in terms of Unix systems, absolutely everything, including hardware, is a file. And, and you know, it's a... 
uh, a useful fiction um, in terms of development and, and the ease of access in certain situations, but it uh, does not give us the full picture that, that we need to have in terms of deciding on and, and setting up access for and uh, the, the requirements of access to various components of the system. Um, and some of the, the functionality, the communications, the networks, uh, some of the hardware, some of the storage devices, some of the processing devices. Uh, so, you know, all of that has to be decided and we have to determine, you know, what, what type of access is needed and how do we manage that access? How do we control? How do we put countermeasures and, and safeguards in place uh, to ensure that we do manage that access properly? And, and then, of course, you know, more generally, more uh, usually, uh, the access to the applications, the files, the, the data fields in a file. We, we have, you know, database systems um, and uh, relational databases. Um, give us a, a you know a lot of of control if we choose to design them properly and design the relations properly and pay attention to uh what is what is secure what is sensitive um you know how do we manage the access um sometimes we can uh by correctly designing uh the uh, the various files that go into a relational database to uh, put all the sensitive information in, in you know, one file, uh, for example, and, and restrict access to that file so that sensitive information simply cannot be disclosed by people who do not have access to that file. Uh, but <clears throat> that takes a lot of work. Um, and, uh, you know, presumably in, in many cases, uh, we are going to have to have a front end and, and the various access controls in that front end to manage and ensure that access to sensitive information is not compromised. And, you know, build it in that way.